Welcome back to the Listen Up Podcast, where we analyze a new album each week. I'm Jamie, and this week we've got me, Nick, FB producing all the heat, and Jordan. Yeah, I... This week, we're going to be taking a look at Find the Beat by Blueface, released in 2020, and it was picked by Jordan. Jordan, why did you choose this album for us? (laughs) I'm sorry, Nick, I had a a perfect impression (laughs) of the FB producing all the heat. (laughs) Okay, sorry. Um, I think that's the. So I think I think that's what? the first producer tag on the album. It is, and I'll, uh, I'll actually mention that later on. Okay, yeah, it might be. Oh, it is. It is. Um, but I chose this album because I listened to it when it first came out. I think it was over the summer of 2020. So about yeah, I think it came out late spring, sometime in March or something. So yeah, yeah, somewhere between March and. And, you know, June, uh, those those months were kind of just all together, you know. Um, the start of quarantine. Year. Yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still, it's, it's, it's second, second, second March now um, because we would did a whole year and it was second March last month and now it's second, second, a, ne- ne- never mind. Um, anyways, <laughs> God, that was really funny, Nick. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I chose this album because there's a decent amount of songs that I like on here. And then I wanted to revisit some of the ones that I hadn't listened to in a while because I listened to the album when it first came out, came out, liked a bunch of songs, and then haven't really revisited uh, some of the songs. So that's why I wanted to pick this one. Nice. And Blueface always really funny. So this was his uh, his redemption episode. Yeah. <laughs> I actually it was looking I, back. It's funny. I still find it so funny how much higher I rated his last album than Nick did. Oh yeah, how how high did you rate it? Okay, so so that we we so let's get we'll get the metrics for the redemption round. Let me let's uh, get the, the, the stats. Run yeah, so the, official uh, the last one we up. did was Dirtbag. Uh, Jordan, you gave it an eight and a half. Nick gave it a three, uh-huh. and I gave it a four and a half with an average uh-huh. score of five point three three. It is currently forty second out of forty three albums. This will be the forty fourth week. Uh, what the hell? What's so, last? You guys are. What's well, uh? I'm pretty sure Chef G is last. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah, Chef, really funny. the the really bottom Chef three G? are uh, last is Chef G, second to last Dirtbag, and you'll never guess what third to last is. Oh, but Pop Smoke. Me too, too. Yeah. Oh. And then yeah. Willie Nelson oh, is fourth that. to last. That's understandable. Yeah. See, but there's so many hits that came out of uh, the Dirtbag album. Yeah, the, like the last blue face thing. I think it was three of his most popular songs on Spotify were off of Dirtbag. Mm-hmm. That sounds yeah. surprised. It was the so one I was where like, I, I, I heard like, a fair amount of them on like either TikTok I'm like, or through just like whatever. Yeah, I'm like, how how biased is this podcast where you know my albums are getting dragged down, but you know, face face in the real world, how how good would they do? You know, but well, it's, it, it's not that deep, so. Yeah. But people, you've also picked like uh, you picked circles, which we rated really high. You That's picked true. Good Kid, Man Mad City, yeah, Man on the Moon. But you that have you 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 have three. You have the bottom three albums, but you also have three <laughs> of the top four albums. So That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, Good Kid, Mad City, Man on the Moon, or uh, yeah, Good Kid, Mad City, Man on the Moon, and Circles, and then Sound and Color I is think... number three. Well, I, I think it's because either you guys are with me or you're without me. So it either make or breaks, you know? Yeah. It's just kind of funny to look at. Yeah. But I have my next album. It's funny because you, you, your but... name is definitely weighted on the ends of the spectrum. And then me and Nick kind of occupy more of the, the middle ground. Yeah. I'll be interested, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting until like we hit a year to really do like data analysis on it. Yeah. But it is it is pretty funny seeing how the trends turn out so far. So we're we're um, forty four this week, right? So what is that? Yeah, this is forty four. So we've got weeks, and then yeah. So I guess that's what sometimes we also in skipped one week. So June, so. roughly. Yeah, I think sometime yeah. in June. Yep, exciting. So look forward to that. Maybe we'll we'll make merch out of our graphs. That'll be the first <laughs> one we'll freshly drop. 
That'd be hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, explain that one to someone. Excel um, figure. <laughs> yeah, so uh Nick, what did you think about the album? Cursory. Um uh, I did I enjoyed it more than Dirtbag. I felt like there was a little more variance in the the beats. Mm-hmm. Um I feel like Blueface's overall lyrical style was pretty similar and I I've always uh, his whole his whole thing was rapping off beat but I I felt like he'd always rapped around the beat in a way where he was still on beat, you know? Like he still right. followed he still followed the beat, but he was just kind of around it more and he kind of s- stuck to it more structurally on this album. Mm-hmm. But but uh it's because it's called find the beat uh yeah i did enjoy the album art a lot no the album art was amazing have have you seen the back of it too or no uh is that the one cover of it is the back where like all the features are on it yeah all the features are made in uh jamie if you haven't seen all the features on the song are made Mm -hmm. in uh What's what's the movie called? I'm blanking so hard right now. The movie is The Wizard of Oz. At least that's yes. what the front I, is. Yes, I don't know why I was blanking so hard. The, the, all the, they're all made in uh, The Wizard of Oz characters, all the features, which is kind of funny. That's pretty, yeah, because he's the Tin Man on the front. Yeah. And then the beat <laughs> is uh, is the City of Oz, the Emerald City. Yeah. It's it's so funny. I love it. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Uh, overall, overall an improvement, I'd I'd say. Yeah, nice, that's what nice. I said. I said in, in my notes at the start of it, I wrote redeemed question mark. And then I said, I think, yes, there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely, you're right. He's, he's, he wasn't quite on beat because his thing is the off, but it was definitely more centered around it. Mm-hmm. Like on Dirtbag, it seemed more like he just didn't have a sense of rhythm. But on here, it felt more like an artistic style than just like lack of, um, prowess uh yeah yeah, i mean i didn't like love the album or anything but i I definitely i could see a lot of like artistic progression um so then redemption was achieved i think um yeah nice yeah so uh so jordan you want you want to start us off with some some your hot uh moments my hot moments like what i liked about it Hmm. Well, um, just like the so- like the songs in particular. Then what? Sorry, yeah, I, 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 kind of, I kind of forget what songs we- overall yeah. highlights. Just okay, just, okay, you, okay. Give okay. us your favorites. You know, I mean, as we know, I always like the blue face one liners. I feel like yes. there were a ton of one liners in this, and I still love them. I definitely um, noticed them more on this one. Yeah, like if I was just say one right now, like. Baby, give good head like Excedrin. Like that's a pretty <laughs> good one. So funny. <laughs> yeah, w- which one is that one out of? Uh, that's off a close up. Yeah. Like a bad bitch that come with bad friends. Bad friends. Baby, give good head like Excedrin. Excedrin. Put your glass in the air if you with your best friend. Go best friend. But uh, featuring Jeremiah, and Jeremiah has a really good voice too. Um, but I really liked uh my fi- I think okay so I think a sing the sing you know how they release singles sometimes I think. Close mm-hmm. up in Obama. I feel like I feel like Obama was a single. Yeah. Okay. Um, I loved that one. Um, then I kind of like vibes more than Obama now. Um, but Holy Moly also is one of my favorite as well. Um, my top. I just recently yeah. started listening. Mine were Carne, Cause, cause, Carne Asada and Holy Moly <laughs> were my uh, were my top <laughs> tracks for sure. Okay, so Carne Asada, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it, it's. Uh, I, we're, we're getting into carne asada right off the bat i see yeah that was, we, we can't oh my wait. god man what it, a song it's incredible but also so he's not no, hispanic me. in any way right <laughs> or is no. he no you said no i okay. don't think so it's interesting but there's some funny ass lines on there tell us some uh no, don't be shy. Go ahead. Have her drink said- a nut like it's leche. Yeah, 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 yeah. She gonna swallow nut like it's leche. 
Mexican plug name Hefe. I don't fuck with paragraphs, only essays. All I got four words worth. Yeah. When he said I don't and, fuck with paragraphs, only essays, oh, I was yeah, like, dude, "Oh my it's god, a, dude!" Oh, it's man. a is it a triplet? Because it's not a couplet. Because it's three lines right there. I will find it specifically because it it makes me laugh every time. Uh, <laughs> dude, also, uh, bitch, I ain't paying for caca. That's so funny. <laughs> um, dude there's it, yeah uh this is not a party baby this is a fiesta grab her hiney get behind her i made this for the paesas baby this a fiesta grab her hiney get behind her i made this for the paesas what are what are paesas uh i think it's i know what paella is it's like a um oh yeah that's like a fruit isn't it that's a papaya oh it is (laughs) no paella is it's like a a corn cake that's then fried and use it kind of like a tortilla i believe let me let me double check that hey everybody editor's note uh i have now googled it now that i've listened to the song and realized it's not talking about paella and I realize that Paisas are a regional group of people from Colombia. So the rest of this conversation is not actually going to pertain to what we thought it was. All right, now back to the show. Uh, Jamie, do you believe me in Swiss? Everybody just give us one second. I don't know how to spell it, so I can't Google it. Um, <laughs> it's okay. True. But yeah, so I assume that that's what it meant, like, with the food. And then the... Uh, yeah, what is it? She gonna swallow nut like it's leche. Mexican plug <laughs> named Jefe. I don't fuck with paragraphs, only essays. Only essays. Bars. See, the, the thing is, he writing. always... I feel like it's such a bad, like, like Latino or Mexican accent that he's dealing with. Like, it's but, not even, like, a then, good one. But then whenever he actually says things in Spanish, yeah, a lot of it I'm sounds like, pretty, yeah, like, spot on. That's a, <laughs> To how That's what I was going to say, too. Like, Spanish speakers. So unless, um, like, my ear is just really untrained, it sounds like he's pretty good at speaking in Spanish. I know that there's sometimes, it might be, like, honestly, it might be just gang-related stuff, because I know a lot of, uh, like, black and Latino people are in some of the gangs in California, because they have such a mix of, like, uh, of just cultures in the community. Right, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot out there. So I don't know if that's it for sure, but it definitely could be. Mm-hmm. Every time it, it's not listed as an ad lib, like in parentheses at the end of the lines on Genius, mm-hmm. but every time he says Mexican in the chorus, I'm like, "What is what is happening? How is this a real song?" Like, yeah, it, it, I it still just... don't have any idea why he's the hook is put my carne in asada put my meat in grilled (laughs) (laughs) like put my carne that make that makes sense meat asada (laughs) means like grilled you you just got to roll with it yeah Yeah, it's not it's it's, not a it's not a literal thing and i i really think he could have an entire renaissance if he would stop trying to make real rap and try to make like comedic rap he is very funny he is a very clever writing because that's like you can make i know make joke rap and you can make real rap and like the lonely island they can rap but part of their huge success is they specifically make like comedic rap but it's not just stupid it's like good comedy is some of the hardest stuff to write because it has to be like smart enough to where it's not just like a poop joke you know, yeah. So he, I don't know if blue. Yeah, he, he should. Could, try, but I feel like Blueface, you're out there and you listen to me. Try your hand at intentionally <laughs> just comedic rap. I feel like you he's know? not a guy who wants to be known as for comedic rap. I don't though. think so either. Like, but I he, feel like should he wants be. to be known as being like funny, but also like still very hardcore. You know, like like no one's gonna see the Lonely Island and be like, "Wow, those guys could kill me." You know? <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm just saying, I think that he, I mean, he he probably makes enough money doing this as it is, but I I think he's got potential to do it like that. 
Because I don't really listen to the I, I I don't know. I don't listen to a lot of rap and go <laughs> like, man, they're actually going to shoot me. <laughs> like, I'm sure that well, like, there, there are people who if are you, actually. If you met them in per- Yeah, a, a lot of them are. A lot I know. Of them, I like, just, I don't think that whenever I listen to it. Because in my head, like, yeah. if I was someone who was actually going to shoot someone, I wouldn't give police music that says I'm going to commit a crime and then do the crime. Yeah. Does that make but sense? But still, that's how but you're not in the. But you see how many rappers have gotten arrested though for like. I know, so and every time I do it, I'm like, rap about it. I'm like, damn, they weren't lying. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know I'm how like, many times? Melly why don't more people go? Yo, this guy's saying he commits murder. murders. We should probably like take a look at that. It just seems very flagrant and impressive to me that there are people who are just like, yeah. <laughs> on this date this location i committed this unsolved crime <laughs> the cops aren't just like yeah we should look into that yeah uh I, I, it's it pretty was crazy funny it was crazy when in the first like four minutes of uh freddie gibbs's interview with with joe rogan he says mm-hmm. something about uh shooting shooting a crackhead like nine times when he was dealing cocaine when he was younger and yeah. i was like what oh this is this is just right out the gate man this is wild yeah someone yeah. someone who i always believe it anytime pusha says anything because i know he actually dealt coke i'm like mm-hmm. that probably happened <laughs> and in one of Melly's songs called bang bang he said we done got away with murder shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> so don't put it on wax like i know that's like to me it's like back in like middle school whenever people were still stupid with the internet and would like tweet them underage drinking. I mean, we still went to high school with people who did that, but they weren't people who were going to get jobs that cared about that anyways. But yeah. like the people who wanted to do things would just tweet like shit like that. I'm like, "You really? You don't see how this could be a problem?" <laughs> Not even in Yeah, college. it was really weird. Just Never never 16. seen anyone tweet them Chuck smoking Lincoln. and been like, man, so cool. I always go, you look like a <laughs> bitch. You look like you're clout chasing. You're doing drugs with a clout, imagine. Clout chasing. Um, clout chasing up in here. Dude, I'm I'm trying so hard to find it. I thought it was in uh I thought it was in two dicks, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Wait, but- what what lyric? <laughs> I'm, I can't remember, but I'll know it when I see it. But it is so funny and also very clever to me. I, I'll keep searching. I'll keep searching. Wait, you, you don't even know like it like begins to talk about? Not really. Oof. Okay. Um. Anyways. Uh. Okay. So other. <laughs> other oh, I got it. I got it. Oh wait. What is it? What is it? It's a. Uh, it's his. It's his first verse in Holy Moly. Uh, twin Glocks named Maui. Zach and Cody. Holy moly, party pooper just like Mr. Mosby. Whoa. Can't wear the rollie without the pole. Twin Glocks named Zach and Cody. Party pooper just like Mr. Mosby. Oh. Do a mission in my sprinter van. How foul niggas sprinting. Yeah, that I shit. really like that one too. He said Twin Glocks named Clever Zach and Cody. And bro. funny. I'm telling you, dude. It's so funny. He should at least so just, just do like a collab. Do an EP with like hit up Andy Sarah and be like, yo, let's just do an EP. If there was like a blue face young gravy collab, I think oh that would God. be really good. Incredible. <laughs> as good as his collabs with B- BB No Money. <laughs> as good like Welcome to Chili's, some of the funniest shit. I still haven't heard that one. It dude, the how much you like Blueface, you should have you checked out a lot of Young Gravy stuff? No, I haven't. You really I should. I, I think I think I think you would. Kind I like you kind of fuck with him. Well, I, I remember we talked about Young Gravy a lot, mm-hmm. like at the beginning, like of sophomore year or something, or like into mid, freshman late sophomore, sophomore year or something. Yeah, yeah. But then I haven't really gotten into anything uh, recently, though. You you I mean, actually but... you should genuinely like if you like this kind of stuff because this is the same kind of thing where it's not purely comedic rap, but it's still like in the yeah. vein of this. It's some of his stuff yeah. is so funny. Yeah. Like but the also, song that's blown up on TikTok, I like it. The um, what is it? Oopsie, Oopsie Daisy? Daisy. Yeah, that one's good. Come on, baby, like whip a Tesla. <laughs> that's a great one. <laughs> but also, I know that you you tend to gravitate towards like uh more more gangster rap stuff. 
Jordan. Yeah. And he, he doesn't he doesn't necessarily look hard, you know. He just Yeah. He but he's, he's st- he looks but cool. He, but But if you take in just from a musical standpoint, he has very yeah. similar style of like you know, the like the interesting hard hitting beats and then like kind of funny, clever mm-hmm. writing that this kind of stuff does. Just mm-hmm. instead of like, I got you. Gl- talking about Glocks, he talks about MILFs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, that's accurate. That is true. That Can't is wear true. the roly without the poly. Holy moly. 40, leave him like a donut. Pull up and shoot like Ginobili. Mm, Ginobili. He, he really likes the motif of the shoot a hole, make a person look he like does. a bagel and a donut. Donut. <laughs> yeah, bagel was on the dirt bag, right? Yeah, that yeah, was one of my favorite line. lines on Dirtbag. Shoot a hole in a... Mm. Now he look like a bagel. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Because he said shoot a... It, 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 uh-huh. it, it, it didn't flow as good, uh-huh. but it was like... Shoot a hole in a... Mm. Now he look like a bagel. Uh. Yeah. I definitely I like his it. his style a lot more on this album. than I, I look back, I don't know why I gave Dirtbag a four and a half. I really would have given it lower now. I think I would have. I should have given it like a solid four. I think, bro. It's there's still so much to. There's still so much. There's still so much good uh, content though. Yeah, I think uh, I think I still stand by my three. I I re-listened to a couple dirtbag songs and I was like, I still wasn't feeling. Bro, you can't even can't hotel me shit. Oh my mom and my sister. Vic says that constantly. I was a quick. Wait, really? Constantly. Yeah. That's like <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like, good. It's that's like what I'm saying. And we things. we have the podcast proof that we were we were there or at least I was there before before the hype boys, all right? Mm-hmm. We we need to submit this whoever like has like the gatekeeping like internet <laughs> stuff. I need I need to show them so they so, so they know. I was there. I did like that's uh funny. I think it's in Carne Asada. He says um, is that that? She called me Poppy, I ain't even know her mama. And that's like that's a, that's like a callback yeah. to she called me daddy. I didn't even know her mama from Dirtbag. Yeah, Bay. yeah. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, I don't know if I caught that either. Honestly, uh, I, I do like his use of she I takes like, the whole enchilada. Oh yeah. Wait, what? I like his use of like the whole enchilada. I feel like that should be used more. That's very funny to me because it mm-hmm. makes no sense. The whole uh, enchilada. But yeah, the when, he, when he says it in Carne Asada, like the end of the course is she take the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada, yeah, and then all uh, Almighty J is the feet, or no, sorry, his name's like Am 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 J Am J, but yeah, I don't know, but he, but I think he has a tag for his rap. I think mm-hmm. I don't think that's the producer's tag. Mm. Wait, it, it might be. I don't know. The is producer's it? Wait, let me see. Oh, is it? Hold yeah. on. FB produce yeah so he whenever he's about to rap it goes almighty like did you hear that in the in the in the song he goes almighty it costs to live like this I mean he's he's also the guy who did the uno dos no tracy atato you know you know that song I don't think so we got the Aztec lato big knock knock as the pop no one thought two thought red thought blue thought no bruh it's the only one. Um, but yeah. Stick on me like some elote. Off the douce with good. the cuete and my dolces. Cabana. Literally, I was just... Literally, he he just did that accent so many times on his Instagram that when I heard it in a song, I was like, this is disgusting. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Because it's... He's, like, he's, it's just so... His vocal <sighs> delivery is so harsh. It's so weird. It, it it literally sounds like a bad accent. I know. It sounds like a bad accent is like ugh. It is it's it's weird. The whole time I was listening I was like, this is funny, but like should it be? Yeah. <laughs> no, but there's there's, there's a lot of other ones. Okay, I want to move to Obama now cuz I feel like that one's very the, I think that was the first rich. time I've ever heard the baby's voice. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's I only go. know the meme. Let's, Let's go. go. I only know that. <laughs> the point, the picture. So I smell the bone. Dude, the be- funniest one is that uh, Jordy 2W on TikTok or whatever where he's playing and he gets stunned. 
in Warzone, and then he's like, "Yo, what? Where am I?" And it's the freaking pixel art, the baby, and he's like, "Let's go!" <laughs> I know, I know. This shit's so funny. I see but Obama, funny. It, Obama's pretty good. Well, okay, I just like the part where it goes. Well, it's it, it's 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 the chorus because pull up on Trump, pull and up they like duck Trump. like Donald. Yeah. Pull up like Trump and they duck like Don. President's gonna be just like Obama. My bitch bad, just like some car. My pull of strings in Balenciaga. Pull up like Trump and they duck like Don. So not only are you Donald Duck, you have a Donald Duck comparison in there. Yeah. But you have like, he's like ducking he's de- from Dude, somebody. I told you, clever and funny. He's a really good writer. I just don't like his delivery. That's the issue. Yeah, presidential on me just like Obama. My bitch bad just like some karma. Yeah. I'm pulling strings in Balenciaga. Ooh. Which is weird because I think most Balenciagas don't have strings, but Is a Balenciaga a shoe or a bag? Oh, it's a it's a shoe, honey. <laughs> okay, know. yes. Well they they make shoes, but they make other stuff too, right? Another Yeah, another big fashion brand who got famous for like their ugly sneakers. In quotes, but yeah, but Balenciagas usually don't have sh- yeah like shoelaces. So, so looking at his Just genius kind of official artist annotation, we all know Balenciaga ain't got no strings. Take a bad man to pull strings in the motherfucker, doing the impossible. Uh, oh, so, so you're saying he's doing the, the impossible? Okay, yeah. I see you, blue face. I see you. Cause yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't think Balenciagas. Not that I. <laughs> Not that I even look at high fashion ever because I can't afford it or anything, but uh, now nah, you you hear about it so much times in uh in songs and you're just like you know what, I'll I'll see what that is might might as might as well, but yeah that was like me trying Hennessy, I just heard it in, in so many rap yeah, songs yeah and I bought the, the little, little mini he bottles got the of airplane it. bottle dude that shit tasted so <laughs> much like grapes it blew my mind it was decent was it I didn't love wait, was it, it was it was it, decent. When, when did you guys? When did you guys have it? It was a while back. Oh, okay. Yeah, when was it? It was so long ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But it was it was weird how much I could taste like the grape. That was the first time where I've had a whiskey that was like notes of blank, and I was actually like, oh yeah, I can taste that. Like it tasted a lot like, you know, grape that was turned into whiskey. Cognac. It was con- cognac. But yeah, that was that that one just had such a good chorus in it. I think mm-hmm. I think the chorus kind of carries the song. Getting top from they top duck models. like Donald, presidential on me just like Obama. Yeah, sorry. I I, I just really like the, uh, the what's it called? Yeah, the chorus. That that that's why yeah. I, I liked it too. It was probably it, it was one of the highlights for me on the album. I think. Holy moly, donut shop. That was pretty, dude. I just like that. There's the baby and little baby, two different people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you confuse them. Someone has a song called like "Baby" and it's featuring like the baby and little baby. I can't remember. I swear they do. That's too much. I did like. Uh, I liked "Weekend." Pretty. It was a decent. It was a decent one on here. Yeah, that's the one with little baby, right? Yes, mm-hmm. their Lil Baby and Da Baby's vocal deliveries are pretty different. Yeah, they it's sound like, pretty different. It's just funny that because I don't think of Baby as a hard <laughs> name at all. In uh-huh. fact, it's the least hard name you could have. Literally, <laughs> anyone could fight a baby and win. <laughs> what about another baby? Oh, uh, okay. Well, check. Man. What about a piece of grass? Huh? It's technically alive. Is a baby allergic to grass? Oh, nope. Could be a loophole. Well, then. <laughs> but I was going to say, um, the, yeah, the, the Weekend was one of the ones I hadn't uh, listened to at first, mm-hmm. but then revisited this time, and it, it was catchy. It, it was catchy, but I still don't see myself like listening to this a whole lot. I don't know why, but it's just not... Yeah. I don't I still don't love it. Yeah, and I I would say that's how like there were songs on here that I enjoyed listening to them on the album, but I still 
didn't like save them or anything. Like, I don't know that I yeah. listened to them actively outside of it, but there were definitely like highs and lows on the album for me. But I just did. You, did, did, did you save any of them? No. Ooh, I don't think. <laughs> Ouch. Did you save any of them, Nick? I saved. I think I saved the weekend. Or yeah, I saved weekend and I saved close up with Jeremiah. It's funny. You I do like the weekend a you lot. You both mentioned close up. I didn't really like that one that much. Really? You didn't like that one? No. It's is even Jeremiah, more like chiller is one. Jeremiah the guy who used to be really yeah. big? Yeah. Like, yeah. He, okay. he was big. I think he was big around in the, the time of like Tyga and. Um, oh, what, no, what I was think it was other early. Guy? What was the other? Was, yeah, he was like before then. I guess like the A. It was like it was like era. high school, early high school or something. Or it was early high big. school. I think it was like when we were in like sixth grade. It was he was big. Really? What was this? Was this song "Put thought, It Down on Me"? Is that Jeremiah? I don't know. I thought I thought he had the one where he was like, "If you do come close to me, he ain't going home when he' supposed to be." Maybe you know that I one? don't know. I don't really know that. There's, there's like one know, song. Uh, I know birthday I know. sex is his. Okay, yeah, but there was a song that Sarah and like the girls cross country team knew all the words to, but it came out like well before then. I'm pretty sure it was Jeremiah. Um, oh, I think oh, he might have I been actually, early. He has a song called "We." That I didn't know the name no, of. It's the called the head, but no, no. It's called it's called Owl. I don't know that one. It's called Owie. Oh wait, who was there? Was Rag City? Wait, who was the at other the... guy? <laughs> there was another guy that was popular around that era. Jamie, like... we don't know. <laughs> oh wait, he also had that Christmas album with Chance. That's that's what. It oh is. really? Merry Christmas, little mama. He had that with Chance. Jesus, I forgot about that. Birthday sex. Okay, never mind. I'm, th- I'm thinking of a different guy, I think. He's got a bunch of big songs Maybe. off of this one album. Off of Late Nights. I don't know. Late but yeah, I, I like... I, he was city. someone who I vaguely was aware of, but I never like listened to his... Uh... I got you, I got you. I, I didn't realize that was him. I swear there's another guy that looks like Jeremiah or Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? It's it pronounced Jeremiah. Jeremiah, but it's spelled Jeremiah. At least okay. I've always heard it pronounced his his name pronounced Jeremiah. Okay. 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 Got me, Doctor Flintstone. I can make your bedrock. Bedrock up. Wait, was he on that song? <laughs> no, that that's well. I don't know. I don't actually know because that's just Young Money, right? It it was a collective of people. I don't know who, who actually. Yeah. Was on. But I just remember, like, that era of music. I was on the fringe of being in there. Like, you say uh, cringe? Fringe. Fringe. Like, oh, okay. I was on the outside of it, uh, but I wasn't really getting in there. But Zach was in it. Zach was in with the young money. Zach and uh, we had a friend named Shane. They were all about, nice. like, uh, you know, listening to all the Carters and... Uh, we should do a Carter album sometime. I'll have to pick. I don't up think I've ever listened to one all the way through. Uh, wasn't I, know, um, I probably know like six me. early ones. Drake was songs. on Young Money, wasn't he? Yeah, Nicki Minaj was too. Yeah, yeah I know Nicki was. I know mostly. I know that from uh, Monster off of Fantasy, Dark Fantasy. Sorry. Oh yeah. Monster. I listened to Fifty K with no album out. To the dissect on site episode today, pretty good. I still haven't. I still haven't. I still haven't either. Probably never will. We'll see if he can make That's me fun. find any redemption in that song. <laughs> I think he will. Um, okay, it's a, it's a, it's an insightful episode. But I, but I, I already enjoy the, the jarring nature of the song. I hate it. <laughs> I do appreciate that Cole's uh, his Instagram account has basically just become a, a meme <laughs> shit post page. I love it. It's <laughs> yeah. so funny. It's a, they're just like. They look like old Facebook memes of, of Yeezus. Like, it's just great. <laughs> I know. Um, what other songs did you guys like also? Is there any others? Um, let's see, let's see. Let's I get, I, I'm still going to talk about a couple, but... I liked in... Um, there was... Oh, which one is it? Which one is it? I think it was In Weekend. I liked the end of the chorus. Uh, because... So, the line is... The last line is, Party on the Weekend... Keep my bitch in good condition like some leave in. When you rich every day is the weekend. Bougie bitch put her feet in. Bad bitches in the deep end. 
sleeping. Party on the weekend. Party. Keep my bitch in good condition like I'm leaving. Oh. When you rich, every day is the weekend. weekend. Bougie bitch put her feet in. That's... Wait, like some leave-in? Yeah, like leave-in conditioner. That's so funny. No oh, one, I didn't even... Wait, no there's one, a leave-in conditioner? Yeah, so so there's there's conditioners. You can have stuff that you put in uh, whenever you take a shower. You have like the washing conditioner, right? And then you take it out. And then you can have other stuff. If you need more hydration, um, then, you know, you take your shower like normal. And then afterwards, you take some leave-in conditioner, put it in your hair... And then it like adds more uh, like the moisture and volume like regular conditioner does, but it's a different application. But mm-hmm. if it's a shitty leave-in conditioner, then you just look really oily. But if it's a good leave-in conditioner, then it it works naturally. It's kind of like it's like if someone mentioned dry shampoo in like a yeah. rap verse. That'd be so funny. So <laughs> the first time I heard it, I was like, wait. And then looking at the lyrics, that's exactly what that says. And I wish people talked more about conditioner and shampoo <laughs> in rap music. It's so funny. Like, uh. No, that is that is pretty funny. Like, who, um, who's sitting there writing verse and goes, yeah, leaving conditioner. Conditioner. I'll use this. <laughs> I'll use this. And then in, a, in um, first class, I like the cleverness of... Um, the I don't remember the line before, but then the so hot I'm paid to be cool. Mm-hmm. I'm so hot I'm paid to be cool because it's like you're being paid to chill out and cool down so that you don't you know because you're a hothead and you might like go crazy, but also you're on the chart wise your music's doing so hot and you're paid to just show up to be cool. Smart. I thought yeah. that was a cool like double. And he's sexy. He says that a lot. I don't even know what he looks like. What? what? <laughs> you know what Blueface looks like? It's on no, the cover of Dirtbag, man. I know, but the cover of Dirtbag, I just, in my head, see 21 Savage. I feel like you... Because it's zoomed out and small. It's okay, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just gloss over. We just said, like, uh, <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. Jamie's Jamie, 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 I've, 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 I've sent you videos of him before, too, on Instagram, whenever, like, he does something funny. Oh, I, d- I have seen him. Okay, I just didn't know that was him. What? Gotcha. I'm like, I'm like, I've shown. I feel like I've seen a number of videos. Whenever he, he, he's really inactive right now, which maybe means he's making a new album. But when he was active, he was doing funny shit like all the time. Like, <laughs> I just send you videos from his Instagram because he just be stupid. It'd be hilarious. Oh, I do he like... was the Thadiana guy. Yeah. Uh huh. That that was his breakout. Wait, what did you say? He was the Thadiana. Thadiana. Yeah. I didn't know that was him. Which honestly, again, I listened to that song before it got popular. Didn't really like it that much, and still, it it got it caught on me a little bit, but I never, I don't think, listened to it. I think when I listened to clubs, it wouldn't just like want to make me like, like, scratch my, wait, I was gonna say scratch my ears out, but it scratched my eyes out. Whatever the ear version of that is, blow my ears out. I don't know, um, but I just didn't like that song yeah. at first. I, I like think I my cripping more. I think I like I've landed on. A TMZ kind of thing, but or like a like a Dollar General version of World Star. I don't know. I googled him to see what he looked like, and apparently he had a social an attempt attempted socially distanced stripper party turn into a violent brawl inside of his house on April nineteenth, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah. So figure that one out. I probably saw that on his Instagram. I'm yeah, it lie. said he it said he posted uh <laughs> shared parts of the violent melee with his followers on Instagram laughing most of the time at what was unfolding inside of his house. <laughs> and then he tried making an OnlyFans where he hired a bunch of girls to just live in the house and like make content. Like I don't even think it's like like sexual content. Like it, it was a little bit, but it was mostly just them like fighting all the time too, I think. Like fuck? just like drama, but <laughs> yeah, Blueface is a funny guy. I uh, uh, I really enjoyed on first class how Gunna uses Ruth's Chris Steakhouse as like the symbol for eating good, like the symbol for wealth. Um, in yeah, his verse, it's also he says, funny. He says, "Rich inward, we've been eating at Ruth's five star dinners for the motherfucking crew." 
Like, <laughs> like I'm, I've never eaten at Ruth's Chris. I, I know it's very expensive, and I'm sure it's good. But like, yeah, to shout out like the most expensive <laughs> chain restaurant you can think of is just really yeah, funny to literally, me. Yeah, literally, isn't know. it like you can get like a four hundred dollar steak there pretty easily, right? Four hundred. I don't really know. Jesus. I just know it's like insanely expensive steak. Like it's like I it's just like don't like Angus it because Barn it's Ruth Raleigh. Chris, or it's it's Ruth's Chris. I, Ruth's the name is Chris. just weird to me. Yeah. Makes yeah. no sense. There's one in Cary. Makes sense. The <laughs> stock price is twenty four thirty seven on the Nasdaq. That they, they're publicly traded. Yes. <laughs> they're not like yeah, it's not it, like a parent company. I feel huh? like publicly traded restaurants. I don't feel like that. It's weird. Maybe to me, it does right? exist. No, I mean it. Unless this is li- their their ticket their their ticker is Ruth, hmm. but it could also be I don't know if it's a restaurant chain, but it also that could just be uh, Ruth's Hospitality Group. Yes, okay, so it's the Hospitality Group, not the restaurant itself. Okay. Oh, and and Ruth's like owns Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Yes. I'm glad we could really dig yeah. into this. The founder is <laughs> Ruth Fertile. Oh. Wait, Wait what? Right. No. <laughs> Ruth is a woman. Could be a guy. Don't know many men named Ruth. Baby oh, Ruth. she died in many 2002. Many, 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 many. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ruth. She was a Louisiana <laughs> businesswoman. Okay. Interesting. Hell yeah. Girl boss. Girl boss energy. Girl boss. Dude, she was on her girl boss shit in the sixties. But That's she was wild. also. The I take back gut. I take back my Ruth's Chris slander. <laughs> no, you can order something were, called tornadoes. Again, so I to pop a cap in Okay, so it's not it's not as expensive. I thought I saw somewhere. Maybe that was just like the most expensive steak they've ever had, but like <laughs> oh um, my also, god bless you also in the song vibes that is one of my favorite songs like i like the just the you, you, you don't like that song no. Nick? <laughs> not at all what <laughs> i <laughs> think you would like, like it though it seems like, very well, much like because i could see that it would play to your enjoyment because you enjoy things where you can just like i figured you would like the course of like vibes just saying the same thing over and over i felt like you would probably yeah, like get the, into it uh, but i no, i like was a beginning? skip after like the first three times I listened to it, it was a skip for sure. What? The, wait, yeah. why? Wait, why did you guys like it? I think it? I only I listened just, to it fully twice. I no. just didn't like it. I don't know. He said, rather work nine to five than to get nine to five. Stripping at 18, you ain't even tried? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was one of those savage blue face lines. That, uh, he said, stripping at 18, you ain't even tried. Oh, man. He's really... 40 digging. ounce USDA prime cut. 40 ounce. Wait, stop. We're talking about vibes now. <laughs> no. Sorry. Wait, we're we're still the Ruth now. Chris menu. No, get off of Ruth. You, you can get a tomahawk ribeye for $132. Man, tell That's me you guys are done talking about that. Let me let me let me know whenever you guys. Are <laughs> All done. right, that's it. I just wanted so it's like a hundred dollars for a steak, not like four hundred like I thought, but still, yeah. it's, it's meat, bro. Crazy. But see, else also in vibes, he says, "Dick in her mouth, she swallowed my pride." <laughs> your sir, your pride is nut. That's weird. I think That's a weird thing I to think take you have pride to extrapolate in. on it. I think it's like his his pride is his future children, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think I think he's trying to send a very metaphoric. It's like a, um, it's like in sweatpants when Childish Gambino says, "Your girl drink my daycare." Yeah. In verse two, he said she sucked the dick hole through the dick hole. Dick so, hole. I think. <laughs> okay, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I, I, I was also that? gonna, I was also gonna bring that. Later but it's of the it. Louis Vuitton jeans, right? Yes, the Louis drawers. Yeah. <laughs> but it was Gucci in the Louis drawers. But it was Gucci. I don't really know what that means. Um, well, but like it a, was oh, good. Oh, 
but it's like but, but it, was it good, but yeah. it was good yeah. though yeah okay i was like see we t- we're our- we're still finding him in this song but also he says one hit wonder how i got two houses because at this time they did call him a little i didn't think he was a one hit wonder but some people thought thought has got so big yeah. Like, when something gets so big, it's like, even though his other songs did good, they didn't do good in comparison to his. I, I was still listening to literally all the songs that weren't Thatiana, and I was like, I don't think he's a winner. But some people call him that, I think. There was someone that, with Lil Nas X, people keep saying he's a one-hit wonder, but he keeps having hits. So, like... Yeah, see, he, Lil Nas is also one that I'm like, I think he's, like, good. Or, like, he, yeah, he, he knows is. how to make music. And he's... I love his Twitter presence. It's so funny. Yeah. Little no sex. <laughs> Little Nas X. Um, what what other songs do I really like? I don't really like Murder Rate that much, I'm gonna be honest. I, I like Murder Rate a decent list. amount, actually. That's really? the one with Polo mm-hmm. G, right? Yeah. I thought it was alright. I did I thought it was interesting. How Polo G has more than one verse. Like I think he does mm-hmm. the first verse. It's like, like a, a it's like a, they're going back and, and forth. Yeah. Yeah. And he has like the third verse. And I actually like that. Yeah. Let Let's off clips see. on your block. Let the heat clap. I'm not gonna turn on the news for a recap. <laughs> Hard. Man's not getting a recap on the news. She <laughs> she just does that one viewing time and just Oh yeah, and viral. How'd you guys feel about viral? Uh, I don't actually remember anything about it. It's like do it for the grand, shake that oh, ass, go viral. Yeah. I thought it was oh, all right. I en- Just, I enjoyed his inclusion this... of ass so fat. Click the link in her bio. Click in her <laughs> bio. Blue face, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I. Do it for the grand. Do it for the grand. Shake that ass. Go viral. viral. Ass so fat, click the link in her bio. Mm-hmm. Off the yak, baby. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Only oh. let a bitch visit if it's I know. Off the See, yak, th- baby. Anything is possible. That's funny. That's Any- good thing. Anything That's is possible. That's it. <laughs> this is this is one at the time of the album he was trying to promote on TikTok a lot. Like I guess a that. TikTok dance kind of song. Uh just like the chorus yeah, really. Yeah, like his like the link in her bio thing. That's a direct like OnlyFans links in yeah, like yeah, bios yeah. and stuff, which I think is really funny and interesting. It's very like, because I mean, unless it's around forever, that's a very like time top thing. like topical timestamp thing. Which I mean, I think yeah. it's you know as as the world just in general becomes more progressive societally, I think it probably will stick around longer. Um, but that's just so funny to me. You just be like, yeah. "That's so fat." Click the link in her bio. And then he also says, I stay on a bitch mind like a frontal. And I think he's talking about a frontal lobe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is, is just hilarious. Again, sometimes I'm like, d- d- does Blueface know the different lobes of your brain? Or is there someone helping him I don't write know. this? Click the cash app in her bio. Do it for them bands. She gonna do it for them bands. What a guess. <laughs> What? Her birthday in May, but her real name is March. <laughs> I know. I was like, yeah, in her DMs like... like a kid at the park. That's funny. Yeah, that that. But I don't I know like what that, that means. Like a throwaway line. The, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know what yeah. That yeah there, there, were, I think there were one that's or just two. setting up the rhyme for slide in her DMs like a uh-huh. kid at the park. The, there were one or two on the album where I was like, I don't, I don't think that makes sense. That was one of them. I didn't, yeah. I didn't write them down. The I only person be... commented on Genius and said, "This fight, what the fuck?" <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the only comment on on Genius for this song is this fight, but spelled like F Y E E E E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Fire emoji, laughy face, crying emoji. Wait for viral? Yeah. I don't see that. Oh wait, I see, it, I see it. I'm a voice celeb, GG. <laughs> That's so funny. That's kind of funny. This file WTF. <laughs> yeah, I th- I think that's you've between what you've said and what what like what we've all said. I think that pretty much takes up all my notes. I'm gonna see if there's anything. And then me and me I didn't listen to two dicks or street shit that much. Um, 
Oh. I, I do remember not liking period or in the zone much at all. For different yeah, I reasons didn't like either of those. Yeah. Than, for, for different reasons than, uh, than vibes. Because j- just like Dirtbag, I didn't like the songs where he did like auto-tune with his voice and did more yeah. of an R&B yeah. thing by himself. I like Sometimes when he had the it works R&B and some feature. people it doesn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I liked when he had the R&B feature with Jeremiah and that more like R&B feeling song. Just how I liked um, See, I still, for the I stars and like for the moon. One. I liked the songs on there that were more, like, like you said, like relaxed or, uh, they were smoother, I guess, than they were like about like gang stuff and, and street stuff. But Nick, yeah. is it because you can't relate? Are you not in a gang? Wow, Actually, man. yeah, um, yeah. The whitest guy that you know, the whitest dad friend that you know, isn't in a gang. Surprisingly, <laughs> the guy who listens to Radiohead isn't in a gang. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I did. But, uh, okay. I did like the how you were talking about the FB. Like you really did it with this one or whatever. FB producing. Yeah, his heat. tagline. I liked that it was at the end of the song. I think. I think that that's your editor's note i I think i would be more (laughs) able to deal with producer tags if they were like after like in the outro credits not the intro you know wait which song are you saying he did that for uh there's there's the one i think it's the only one on the album right he did one or two beats on the album i know he did more than one but um uh Uh, in first class it's, it's it's at the beginning it might be at the end too I'm not sure. I didn't notice it in the first class, but I think the one I'm thinking of is uh, where he, I think it's in Carne Asada. And it says that he says it at the beginning, but I I don't remember him saying it at the beginning. Yeah, he, he does say it at the beginning also. I just, I just listened to it. But at the end, because I feel like it fits with the outro. I don't know. I felt like it fit there more with the epico well, crazy. You also heard at the beginning. See, but I didn't. So I don't know about that one. Okay, Jamie listened to that song one time, I see. Um, <laughs> I, I, no, that was the it. only one that I listened to, like... Actually, I think I did save that one. I think I saved that one. I thought you said you saved Carnea. like, what the... Yeah. I did save that one. Boy, you crazy right now. <laughs> I, you crazy right I know now. That, I thought I didn't save any, but I think I saved that one. I think I saved Holy Moly. So I know that you're you're an anti-producer tag guy. I, I'm like a like a neutral producer tag guy. But when I really enjoy the production of a song, I'm like a pro producer tag guy. Like a like for Kenny Beats, whenever I hear the "Whoa Kenny," I'm like, oh. But that's yeah. like that's like that's like oh, when I like something, yeah, then I'll support it. But if I don't, then I'm not going to support it. Like I feel well, like that's kind of that's kind of wishy washy. Because like I said, I and I feel like it might have been misconstrued. But I'll say it again. I support the idea and the reasoning behind it. I am all for like artists getting credit. But it's the sound of them makes me think of like radio ads. So I'm not anti the concept. I'm anti radio ads. Yeah, like like the radio sound effects. So I'm not anti the concept. <laughs> like sound, I'm, I, yeah, I'm pro the concept. I'm anti the typical. This beat was made delivery. by Axel, Axel, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I just don't. Judy B. Jones on the beat, 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 beat. beat, beat. <laughs> I just, I don't vibe with the like the implementation. But I like the concept, conceptually great. The implementation is where I hear it and it takes me out of it. But yeah, I just don't get how that just takes you out of a whole song though. So that's. <sighs> Anyways, we're not. Well, then the song doesn't. I don't enjoy it enough to like bring it back in. Ugh. So there's like like axel beats, or like mellow guys. Like this is a mellow this beat. Is <laughs> mellow beat. Like, are you telling Dude, me that, that doesn't was... sound like a like a gentleman's club ad from ninety eight seven on the like, night radio? No, That's exactly it what it sounds like. I it don't sounds think like you're hearing so, an ad for axel Mirage. Like, axel, 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 Axel. Dude, there was one that would always advertise on local radio after like 9 p.m. I can't remember it, but it was something Gentleman's Club. Because I would hear it, and it was still at the age before I understood what a Gentleman's Club was, like when I was like 9 or 10. And then uh-huh. once I learned that, I was like, they just said, they they just threw that out there on the radio. But yeah, that's Okay, what but also I was going to say, in Two Dicks, there's a, there's a line that says, all black hoodie, Glock sing like a boogie. Like a boogie in a hoodie. How do you make a tissue? There's also one. 
put a little boogie in this it. This one, this one's, this one, this one, I, I, I don't even want to say this lyric. I'll, I'll say it afterwards. There's another lyric in there that's like, uh, it's the one that's highlighted on Genius. It's so bad. I, there, there's so many things that we've already said on this podcast that I don't, I don't know what would, what could. I'm no, I think it. I know what he's talking about. I probably wouldn't say it. Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Don't say yeah. that. One. <laughs> I probably wouldn't say it. Yeah. yeah, don't say that. One. Yeah, I did. I heard. I heard that one, and it caught me off guard for sure. That was one where I was like, "Whoa!" Oh man, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, you all made me say. This. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's only a, three. Which one is it? And I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. I hope. Yeah. Um. So that one, that one's pretty bad, but. I hope it's more like in solidarity with that, and like, you know, <laughs> then like, like making yeah. fun of the guy. Yeah, not, oh, like, it absolutely it, is. It yeah. obviously is. It it obviously is. But One thousand percent. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, um, okay. What I think a, that's what a the whole mind. Someone put a comp. Someone in the genius comments for the song. I I guess his name just put a gif of him dancing in the road in the rain without a shirt on. Jamie, you just cut out, but I see the video you're talking about. Though. Yeah, it's just him dancing in the rain. It's got four likes. Dude, he's so funny. Look, he's so he's so lanky too. Oh, I love it. Anyways, all right, we can we can we can wrap it up there. All right, all right. So then, ratings. Uh, you, Jordan, since you picked it, and then what? It's me, and then Nick. You announced next week, right? Yep. I'll give this one a solid. Uh, I guess one solid eight. Okay. So you like it less than Dirtbag, I see. Yeah, I do. I okay. like Dirtbag more. Interesting. How much did I give Dirtbag? Eight and a half. I, I must wanted to give this a seven and a half, but I'll give it. I'll, I'll, I'll give it an eight because it has potential for in the future songs. But All right, Nick, what are you giving it? Oh wait, no, no, it's me. It's me. I'm so silly. I literally <laughs> just <laughs> outlined it. So silly. I mean, it, <laughs> it was redeemed. It was redeemed. It was redeemed, but I'm going to give it a five. And see, here's where I wish I rated the dirt bag a four, because I feel like this one's a solid five, but I feel like I like it a whole point more than dirt bag. So I, I messed I that one up, you. but I'll give it a five. That's okay. That's okay. Because there were moments I enjoyed this time, you know? All right. Nicholas Cage. Nick, Nick what you got? I'm going to, I'll give it a, a four and a half. We're not quite We're breaking all, five. One, one and a Sheesh, half improvement. Let's That's, go. Let's go. It's like slightly the redeemed, redemption album. But I, the redemption album. But I feel like redeemed is a strong word because, like, we we barely we barely increased our scores. But <laughs> I know, I know. Just kidding. But but, but there. But I if did it's it. an improvement, it's a redemption. Most improved doesn't mean best in show. It means most improved. True. That is true, and you did upgrade it a whole point and a half. I did. So so that that averages out to 5.83, tying it with both sides now by Willie Nelson at number 41. Oh, it's still at low. 44. Well, yeah, because, like, Jordan lowered his score, so that offset my oh, increase, and then you brought it up one and a half. True. But it's true. still an average of a half point higher. Okay. Yay. Fair enough, fair enough. Slightly below Soul Insight by Marcus Kingman. Actually, there's there's five tied there. Shoot for the Moon is one of them tied for 6.0 even. Along with Witness by Benjamin Booker and Remains by Bones. So I guess it's four. Benjamin Booker, that low, man. Tragic. Good. Yeah, that okay. one's that oh, one's one of those I, ones I, where I, there's a big disparity where you yeah. gave it a nine and a half, I give it a five and a half, and Jordan gave it a three flat. That was my that was my twenty two a million scenario. That was me like picking an yeah. album that I really loved, and then you guys were like not feeling it, and I was like scrolling through the notes on my <laughs> on my phone, like look at how much I wrote about this. Oh yeah. baby, but it's fine. It's, look, it's all good. But I to be I went into twenty two a million with that expectation because <laughs> that's a weird damn album. Uh-huh. But I thought I remembered like, liking it more than I did, which was strange, but. Yeah, you. Whenever we talked, when we talked about it at work on Friday, like before we recorded, you were like, "Yeah, I think I like this one." And then the writing came out, and I was like, "Oh, just that." <laughs> All right, so 
with that, what are we going to be listening to next week, Nick? So it it was basically a coin toss between two albums for me. I know earlier in the week I told you guys it might be a rap album. It's not a rap album, but um, uh, I, I settled on two and I was neck and neck. But I decided to go with the one that I was more familiar with, just so I could maybe talk about it a little better on okay. the podcast. But we're going to be doing "True Sadness" by the Avit Brothers. Yes. Okay. Let's oh. go. And it, it's it's a it's a very great album. Um, I I I was really close to doing. There ain't no man who can't save can't me. Save me. Hurt ain't me. no. Man. I was really close to doing their album right after this one, closer than together, because I knew that Jamie okay. said he didn't like it a whole lot, and I didn't like it when I first listened to it. But I listened to it like two or three weeks ago. And I really enjoyed pretty much the whole listen. So I gotta re-listen to it because I think it's my least favorite Avid Brothers album that I've listened all the way through. I haven't listened to all of Four Thieves Gone, mm-hmm. so that one's kind of a I can't describe it. Like I, I don't I don't have a solid opinion either way. Once you but that's the one, yeah. Once you get a little more used to their experimentation, which they kind of introduce in True Sadness, like I, I feel like Closer Than Together comes together more, but. But this one, this one does have some strangeness to it, and it also produced has, by like, Rick some Rubin. My, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I think every album since "I Am Love and You," including "I Am Love and You," has been produced by Rick Rubin. But um, but it has like some of my favorite songs by them on it. But but we'll we'll dig into mm-hmm. it next week. Oh, we'll start crying next week. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. Why are you gonna pick an album where you cry, Jamie? Hi. I already picked it. Feelings. Let's go. Oh, this album's gonna be sad. Only uh. Yeah. Some. Some of it. A, a couple. No songs. Um. Ain't what? no man. Ain't even that sad, bro. <laughs> well, Come yeah. On. Ain't not no man's probably like the happiest. Song Only song I know. I actually, oh. I do. Th- I think I've got like my next three picks. <laughs> I just don't know what order I'll do them in. It's impressive. Yeah. Um. Okay, well then let's get what we've been listening to. Uh, I can start because it's easy. I've been, I think it's because I listen to 22 million, 22 a million so much. Uh, but I've been listening to a lot of Zaba by the Glass Animals. That's back mm. on my like uh, um, rotation. Yeah, back in my rotation. Um,. On, honestly, I've just been listening to that album quite a lot. Uh, I I discovered that Vic already knew it, but it's a cover of Freaking Out on the Interstate, the Mac DeMarco song that got really big. It's a cover of that by a guy, I don't remember his name, but I like it more than the Mac DeMarco version. It's really good. It's like a uh, slower, blues rockier version of that song. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Um, is it, is and it Freaking then, Out on the Interstate or Freaking Out the Neighborhood? Or is it no freaking out the neighborhood is by a different that, that they're two different songs freaking okay. out the neighborhood yeah I'm not that familiar. one's also by Mac DeMarco mm-hmm. but wait am I am I going crazy hang on hang on freaking out on the interstate is by Briston Maroney I think oh there's a different version though. Never mind. Yeah, I, I'm definitely. You were right. I'm thinking out. Weird. Because I swear that's not the original, but it looks like it is. I don't know what happened with my brain there. Anyway, that song's really good. Um, and then, what else can I plug? I think that's all. Oh, I was. I've been listening to Lake Street Dive's new album too. Oh yeah. I've been listening to that more. Yeah, I like Heck it. Yeah, it's good. Jordan, you want to go? I'm going to be honest, I've just been listening to the same stuff I always do. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's not a, not a lot of new I've been listening to. I've been unironically listening to that, like the Should Have Been Mercy song off TikTok, you know? I don't know. Maybe if I heard it. You know, it goes like, Should Have Been Mercy, I don't want to be any kind of support. We end up losing. Yeah, I don't know what's, I, what's the name of the song, because I've heard the clip. It's called No Mercy. Every time it starts, I'm like, Frank? No. It's the one that goes like, maybe I'll be Tracer. I want to be Tracer. Wait. You know that, Nick. I know that. 
Oh, okay. That's that's also in the song. But there's like two separate trends with stuff in the song. That's from that. But I, that's from the same song. Little, yeah. Oh, should have been Mercy, as in Mercy is the the Overwatch character. character? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I I've never played Overwatch, but listening to that song enough, man. Mercy's a, Mercy's mercy. a healer. Could it better be any? I'm pretty sure it's about women. A stereotype that women always play support players. And that's like a song where like she's like not playing the, the dude's like, dude, you need to play the support and she's like, No, bitch, I don't want to play the support. Yeah. And he's like getting all mad about it. Feminist gamer yeah, music. Kind of... Hell Fog. yes. Oh, I finally Let's checked go. out Chanel. Let's go. <laughs> what? I finally checked out Chanel. Oh. By Frank. My guy pretty like a girl. And you got my stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. I see them both sides like Chanel. The, the, the Jordan Moore remix. Yeah. But I did. I finally checked that out. I need to listen to Oldie again. Hear Frank rap. Oldie? Yeah. Yeah. He's featured on it, right? I've never is heard that, that is one. Is it by him? It, it's it's fe- by Odd it's Future. Feature. And it features like yeah. everyone from the Odd Future group. Like Tyler, the creator... Earl Sweatshirt, Frank Ocean raps on it. Jasper, who's like Tyler the Creator's friend. God, I forget how many out. people were in Odd Future that yeah. like I just don't think of as being Hockey in the beats, same like Domogenesis. camp as a uh, Earl like, Gray the same Sweatshirt camp as Tyler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm hanging in the islands looking for Earl like Toe Jam. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't say the next line. <laughs> um. But uh, I've been listening to uh, a band called Mapache. It might be, I'm not sure of the exact pronunciation. I'm probably saying it like a redneck. But uh, M- Mapache is the uh, Spanish word for raccoon. But raccoon. they make kind of like Grateful Dead-esque, like kind of psychedelic country rock stuff from California. It's all up my alley. Um, because of them, uh, it, it's two guys in Mapache, and they were also in. It's probably a, like Mapache were then, right? Probably Mapache. I like it. It, it makes me Mapache. Yeah, uh, but um, they were in a great Neck. Grateful Dead cover band called Grateful Shred, and i listened to a couple like killer name by the way that they did on youtube and i was like i should just listen to the grateful dead i know they're probably right up my alley i just haven't liked them a ton in the past and then i listened to american beauty which is like one of their biggest albums and i did i liked mm-hmm. pretty much the whole thing i just need to check them out more check out the cornell live album yeah i know that's a big one a lot of people and now you can Scar- buy the scarlet Bergonius off too. that album fire okay should have been made. Love that one Listen to old His Golden Messenger album I hadn't listened to in a long time. Poor Moon. It's a good one. It's one of his first ones before he really got, like, uh, I guess more studio backing. Like, it just sounds more folky and, like, less produced. But it's it's pretty cool. Um, Mapache. I'm confused with it. Oh, and I bought a bunch of, uh, a bunch of records. I bought Because the Internet on vinyl. Um, and then I bought, like... I bought eleven. Wait, because of the internet, you bought something on Vio? That fly. I'm just gonna let it sit, simmer. And I and I <laughs> I bought like got a glass bought, house in the Palisades. I bought like fifteen one dollar vinyls, and I'm just going through them and listening to. Them. Where'd you get them at? Oh dang, that's cool. Yeah. Plug the plug their record shop. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Underdog Records in in Winston Salem, baby. They've got all kinds of. Cool did stuff. you get them shipped to, shipped to you, or did you go uh, back? This no, I weekend? went back for Easter, and I had ordered because the internet, like online, and I picked it up there in person. And when I was there, I wait, was like, you or because of the internet, you ordered? I mean, that's kind of how you use the internet, isn't it? <laughs> right, like <you> literally just, <laughs> two I'm minutes gonna, apart, you made the exact same joke. See, I really want. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more vinyls, but I have to get like I'm borrowing my dad's record player, right? Mm-hmm. But I need to get a good one and good speakers to justify the expense because I want like twenty two a million on vinyl. That'd be cool. I want I think like, Underdog has that. It'd be cool right to now. throw on like they did, yeah. I don't know if they still do uh, Dreamland, the vinyl of that. Mm-hmm. 
if I, dude, if I can find a 2020 complete experience vinyl, if they, I don't even know if they press that, but if I can find that, because that is one of my favorite albums, but it's one that I couldn't do on here because it's like two hours and 40 minutes long. So, wait, what is the 2020 complete experience by Justin Timberlake? If we ever have, oh, if we ever have another like two week gap, we should like make an exception in the rotation of picks and just. Like do a long 22 one. No, not not pick twenty twenty experience. experience yeah. I don't know, but it could also do Mothership by Zeppelin. How long is that? It's another long one. I feel weird doing like greatest hits albums. Yeah, right. Yeah, it feels like you're weird. cheating. Yeah, <laughs> but then you could do like Appetite for Destruction, which is not a greatest hits album, but it's a greatest hits album. Cause name a name a name a like more than three hits by Guns N' Roses that's not on that album. Yeah. Same thing with ACDC Live. Should have been missing. But that's that's for future planning. I don't know because we're we're yes. we're kind of coming up on a year. Yeah. We gonna do something special for it? I don't know. For the one year. Yeah. Oh, we already know what we're doing for it. We don't even have to say it out loud. Come on, we know. On the on the we count know. of three. We, oh, Apparently Jordan One. knows. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you, you know. Are. Nick knows. Then don't you know, Nick? Yeah, uh, yeah you're the only one. Who See, Nick. Know, Jamie. Come oh, yeah, on, yeah, Jamie. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Right. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. I'm not joking. You're actually the only one that doesn't know. We've talked about this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. All right. With that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap her up. So thank you again for listening this week to whatever just happened in the last five minutes. Um, you know, remember to tune in next week where we're going to be taking a look at True Sadness by the Avid Brothers. Uh, be sure to give it a listen or two or three or four, maybe five, should you so choose. Uh, because then you can formulate your own thoughts and mentally join the discussion, see if we talk about what you want to talk about. If not, let us know by leaving a comment on this episode on YouTube or you can also tweet them at us, your thoughts. Um, you can tweet them at us at, at list up podcast and that account as well as all three of our personal handles are going to be in the description of wherever you found this episode. Uh, we also ask, you know, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to throw a like or not a like, a, uh, a review or a rating on whatever platform you found the song. But for now, uh, we'll catch you next week and remember to listen up. Mm-hmm.